Welcome to Homeschooling with Heart. My name is Steph. If this is your first visit to this channel, thank you. Thank you very much for giving this channel a chance. I appreciate that. And if this is not your first visit, thank you. Thank you for returning. I really do appreciate you a lot. Um, I am a homeschooling grandmother to an eight-year-old grandson. Today, I am going to talk about what I put together for him for science. I think we finally got everything in that we were waiting for. So I'm going to show you the rest of those books that uh, Remington chose for this year. And hopefully if we have time, I will show you the uh, story book Bible that we're using. I just may start out with, um, let's start out with the books that he received, kind of a quick you know, run through. Let's get started. I hope that everything is okay in your world today. You know, I never ask y'all that, and I, I keep meaning to. I write it down at the bottom, but I never So, ask. I hope everything is okay in your world today. We will do the showing of the books first. And the first thing that we got in, and these are books that he picked out with the exception I chose... Uh, the Grapes of Math. We actually have a program, a math program, and moving beyond the page uh, when he needs a break. And plus, sometimes it's fun to do a literature-based math program. So we have the Grapes of Math. And then we both looked at this, and he was pretty excited. Y'all know he loves poetry. So this is Dragons, Dragons, and Other Creatures That Never Work. This is poetry about other creatures that never work. Dragons, Dragons, Eric, I think it's Carl. Eric Carl's Dragons, Dragons. Sybil's Night Ride. He was interested in this because he said, Mimi, I thought Paul Revere did all this. And I said, well, no, there was actually Sybil. And he said, well, can I get this? And Yes, you can. You sure can. So, we have Sybil's Night Ride. Oh, forgive me with my southern accent. Norse um, mythology for kids. And, of course, this is tales of gods, creatures, and quests that never were. And a couple of people that he likes from the Avengers. And, you know, he's just really into the characters in Greek mythology. The other thing that he got was Meet Thomas Jefferson, Thomas Alva Edison, The Man Who Brightened the World, Hooray for Inventors, and um, this goes over the Wright Brothers, um, Thomas Edison, uh, James Watt, so there are quite a few inventors in this book. We also have the Science Works, Discover the Secrets of Science with Exciting Accessible Experiments. And it says, Eye-Opening Experiments and Exceptional Photography Bring Science to Life. So, I don't think I've even looked inside this book. He, uh, brought it to me and he's like oh Mimi this is really cool this is filled with a lot of experiments and it really is it's filled with just I mean just experiments John Adams speaks for freedom and then he has the Emperor's New Clothes I really cannot wait to read this to him because this was one of my favorite stories when I was a child so I'm excited we to read have that. um First Flight, The Story of Tom Tate and the Wright Brothers, Amelia Earhart, a picture book of Davy Crockett. We have The Apple and the Arrow, George Washington Carver, Albert, Buzzing with Questions, The Inquisitive Mind of Charles Henry Turner, a Locomotive. There you go. I don't think I'm expecting any more books in. If I get any more in, 
I'll let you so know. I'm going to go ahead and put up a video right up there so that you can see the uh, books that we already have for this year. I have not gone over the Sunlight Read Alouds yet. I won't do that in this video, okay. and I will do another video uh, when I speak about Sunlight and what we're doing with it for the year. That hopefully, I think, wraps it up except for maybe a few of the um, Heroes of History books that we are still waiting on. A lot of those are still on back order. Well, I'm going to show you some of the books that we are using for science this year. Science is going to be on a rotation with sunlight. We are back on um, some of the earth science that he's just really not interested in. And we do not have the guy that did the videos for sunlight last year. He has not done this level yet. So we don't have a whole lot of entertainment. I mean, we have me, but you know, so if you happen to know of somebody when i show you these books if you happen to know of somebody uh, maybe here on youtube or another platform that may have a few videos for remington to watch i would greatly appreciate it if you commented down at the bottom and let me know uh, because i really am looking for some entertaining videos for him to watch uh, to go along with some of these subjects now one of the things that we are doing, uh, we are doing a veterinarian um, program from Campfire Curriculum, and we will be doing some notebooking. Some note I will go into a little bit more of that later, but I am showing him a little bit, introducing a little bit of note taking this year. So, um, and, and Campfire Curriculum allows for me to do that with him. So what we have for science, um, let's see. Let's start with what I bought from Memoria Press. And I bought the World of Mammals, Teacher Guide and Student Guide. And we have what is a mammal and what is an animal kingdom. Because he wanted to know about mammals, we have Exploring Creation um, with Zoology 3 Apologia. Yeah, so this will be um, our resource that we're going to go to for our questions about mammals this year. And um, yeah, it's quite a bit of a change for us. Um, when I go into my monthly update, I will give you the what when, where, why, behind a lot of my decisions. So that's why you need to subscribe so that you hear these updates and you hear the reasoning of why I have just revamped our, our curriculum. Like I said, I do have an update coming out for you. I've got a couple of other things. I am doing a flip through of our math program. I'll put that video right up there. I'll be doing a flip through of the uh, level two and level three of the Apology of Math program. So subscribe so that you do not miss a thing. That is the mammals portion. The other thing that Remington asked about this year was anatomy. And um, there are a couple of things that we are doing for anatomy this year. We have Exploring Creation with Human Anatomy. Again, Apologia. And I also picked up, uh, to start out, the um, Us Born Complete Book of the Human Body. So, we have a couple of different things, you know, to look at here with the human body. Um, but this will be our resource when we want to dive a little bit deeper with any questions that we may have from this book. That is a little bit of our science. I know you're thinking a little bit. What more could there be? Well, we do have a, a level from Sunlight, and uh, like I said, he's just not 
he's not really enthusiastic about these books. We tried this science, and I'll put that video right up here. We tried this last year and ended up having to switch. And now that we're doing it again this year, you know, I'm I'm what I'm thinking is while we're doing these studies is just kind of pulling in, you know, bits and pieces each week. Bringing in other books may help pique his interest just a little bit um, and break up the monotony, you know, of the uh, mammals and the human body for science. The books that we have from Sunlight this year for science are What is the World Made Of? I Wonder Plant DK. We have an Us Born World of Animals. Marie Curie. We have a Magic School Bus Inside the Earth. And we have a DK Find Out. Earth. And then we have um, the Magic School Bus at the Waterworks. We have the Lift the Flap Periodic Table. This he is interested in. The mammal part, he is interested in. Um, it's just the other, you know, the waterworks, um, inside the earth, he's just not, not taking an interest in. And that, All right, now for the Bible portion. Um, this year, I did get Remington a new Bible. It's not open yet. He just received it. It is the... Um, NIRV Adventure Bible for Early Readers. He's going to be excited about this one, y'all. We will be using this each morning. I found this on Amazon when I was searching. I didn't really see anything on... Um, I, I just wasn't really drawn to anything for a curriculum. What I was drawn to was this book right here. This is more than a story, exploring the message of the Bible with children. And um, so far, I do like what I see. She has illustrated very, I mean, she's got beautiful, Beautiful illustration. It's just a really nice that he will do in the mornings. And then this will kind of be our family study in the evening or, you know, maybe in the morning time, maybe in the afternoon. But this will just kind of be our, um, our family study. I will let y'all know. I'll give y'all an update in a few weeks and let you know how this one is going. I had not really heard of this, but she does have a couple of books that I have to go with this. I didn't bring them in here today, so I'll have to remember to show you those as well. That's it for today. I hope that you have enjoyed this bounce around crazy video. It was just one of those times. Again, thank you very much for your time today, and until we meet again, good to each other.